Do you have a uh, Dale Dye impersonation? Uh, I don't think I can say it on the radio, can I? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> of course you of can. Of course you can. This, is, uh, this isn't uh, terrestrial. This oh, is yeah, the this internet. Is internet. <laughs> okay, cool. You know, it, when, it, he used to spit a lot. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, that's the I'm that's a new big, one. That's a new big, one. Big fucking green hockaloogies. <laughs> what? Oh my god, that's awesome. He would dig these things up from the from the bottoms of his toes, man. Oh, I don't know where Lord. the I don't know where he I don't know where he <sighs> stored it. Yeah, exactly. I don't know where he god. stored it all. Amazing. It was like he had a constant tap. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> He would bring one up from, from Middle Earth somewhere. <laughs> oh, God, no. Hey, he would cough up a hobbit. Oh, no. And it, yeah, yeah, dude, it would come out like, like, like Haley's Comet or something like that, you know? It would come out like a fireball. It would hit the ground and you'd feel reverberations <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> oh, Lord. He would basically bring one up like, <laughs> like this. <laughs> now, now he'd spit it and I'm telling you, you know... This is this is quicker than a speeding bullet coming out of his mouth, and it would hit the ground, and it would do a massive crash. It was, you know, it would make like a. But then his line, his his line was, "Get out and walk, you son of a bitch." <laughs> <laughs> so every time he spit, it would be, like, "Get out and walk." <laughs> oh God, that's awesome! I've never heard that before. Get out and walk, you son of a bitch. I can see that. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, if he's listening, man, or if he listens in, yeah, I hope he doesn't kill me for saying that. Yeah. Oh, I don't think he will. I think he's well. And what's the best part about this is he does listen to all the interviews uh, over on uh, Ross Owens' uh, blog, the uh, where uh, Band of Brothers. Where are they now? Dot blogspot. Dot com. Uh, Rick Rick Gomez had a really good impression, and you know, I think he was. I reckon he was probably the champion. Do you get back for uh, the uh, yearly uh, barbecue? Um, I I just missed the one recently, and I'm I'm really upset about that. Um, because I was in the states, I was climbing in Yosemite. Um, so I was in California, but I missed it. But I did go to one. The last one I was at, I think, was two years ago. Okay. Like well, um, we have a caller who uh, has a question for you, Jenny. Are you on? Yes, I am. Fantastic. Uh, this is Jen Jenny Lehman from Minnesota. You're talking with Nick Aaron. Hello, Jenny. Nice to meet you. You too. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Good stuff. And my question is, uh, who did you get close to in the cast once you um, got used to being around the guys? Uh, right. Yeah. I, there was. Um, there, everyone kind of had their little groups. I think. Um, I was super, super close with. Um, uh, Kirk Acevedo played Joe Toy, and Donnie Wahlberg played Lipton. I was really, really close with those two guys. Um, Doug Allen, who played out, played more. I was super close with him. And, and Ross, obviously, played Liebgott. Phil Barantini played Sisk. I mean, but bear in mind, there, was no, like, there wasn't like little tiny clicky groups. We were all close because of, because of boot camp and because of, you know, it was such a long shoot. We were all super close. But, you know, I did spend pretty much nearly every day hanging out with, with Kirk and Donnie. Uh, even when we weren't working, we'd spend time together and go and have dinner together. Uh, and I, I saw those two guys as like, you know, they were like my big brothers on, on, on the shoot, basically. Excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, any other questions while we have you here, Jenny? Uh, did you play? Did you guys play any pranks? Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, basically, uh, me and kind of uh, me and Stephen Graham, who played Ranny, we we kind of put a little bit of urine in someone's boots <laughs> we just put a little bit of weed in, in, a, in a boot each you pissed in somebody's boots <laughs> 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 and whose boots were you pissing in god man um i think it was a difficult shoot for 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 this guy um and i think there were <laughs> oh, is this like so anonymous because he doesn't know you did this of course he doesn't know. <gasps> oh, okay. Okay, so wait. It's so we got, we got someone, breaking news. It's definitely someone we haven't talked to because no one's mentioned. Yeah, and I woke up one day and there's pee in my boots. <laughs> right. So it's not someone we talked to. <laughs> All right. So it's not going to be. Okay. So that. that they might not even. They might not have even noticed, you know, but. So <laughs> it, <laughs> well, I was too. I think Donnie put us up to it as well, actually. <laughs> 
All right, Jake, thanks for calling in. Bye. I do want to yeah. mention real quick that um, I did also get that same question um, from Paige from Ohio, who's in the chat room. Uh, she wanted to know what crazy behind-the-scenes stories you had, so I'm sure she appreciated you answering that question as well. I just thought I'd give her oh, that man. quick shout-out. Yeah. It was a long time ago. I was young, so, you know. Yeah, you were. <laughs> now, were you one of the younger guys there? I mean, uh, Yes, I was, yeah. You, so you were barely pushing uh, 20, 22, right? No, I think yeah, I was tw I was twenty three, I think. Okay, twenty three, yeah. What was your favorite uh, uh, scenes or episodes? Um, well, I mean, my favorite, for obviously, for the wrong reasons, was uh, discovering the camp. You know, that was because I mean, watching it back, it's just it's just just tremendous performances all around. You know, uh, Damien Ross, the guys they got in who like were seriously <laughs> malnourished. Um, that was a, a favorite, just in, in terms of how how it made you feel and and how it looked. Um, but yeah, because it, it was horrible. They, they didn't show us the camp either when they drove us down in the deuce. They wouldn't they wouldn't let us see what we were going to see because they wanted to catch the initial reaction on camera. And it was you know when we first saw it, they and they were rolling. It, it was it was it was a shock. To, it was a real shock to to see what these what they'd made, you know, and how it made you feel, man. You know, right? You, absolutely. You, you you felt you felt sick, really seriously felt sick. Um, it was harrowing, it really was. Uh, but other than that, uh, favorite bits. Gosh, I don't know. There's so many. Um, obviously, Bastone was 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 particularly. Uh, uh, moving and fun to shoot and you know when when the boys had their legs blown off this there's loads of it you can't really pick there's not really one favorite it's you know it's it's all a wonderful uh favorite memory really